，北加州提高警惕。PGN E 分享防诈骗信息。由于针对 PGN E 嘅长者客户同埋英语水平有限客户嘅诈骗案持续不断 ，PGN E 今日特别召开媒体新闻会议。向民眾講解同埋分析最常見嘅詐騙類型，了解如何保護自己免受詐騙。PGE 企業安全威脅專家 Matt Foley 指，佢哋今年已經收到咗一萬三千幾宗關於詐騙嘅投訴，涉案金額八十一萬五千蚊。好多被騙嘅民眾都係因為接到假扮 PGE 工作人員嘅電話，被恐嚇話因為欠費要即刻切斷屋裏邊嘅電源。They are the utility. They're going to most likely know your name. They're going to know your address, and they already have your phone number. And that information is is readily available on the internet, unless you really put a, a sense of efforts into、uh, restricting that number, that that information. They're going to know it, and they're going to make you feel like they have all your information. They may introduce a、um, your account number. 但系大家要记住最重要嘅一点，我哋系可以吸线嘅。無論係騙子嘅電話，定係真嘅 PGE 工作人員，而且喺絕大多數嘅情況下 ，PGE 係唔會打電話俾客户。公共事業聯合打擊詐騙機構 UUAS 執行董事 Monica Martinez 表示，民眾喺接到欠款電話嘅時候，可能會心慌意亂。佢話大家俾出三點建議。So the first point of view, we ask people to slow down, take your time, don't let the pressure tactics get you. Second is verify. Scammers pose as the utility, and they're going to try to pretend that they're they are the real thing, that they are the real utility, but they're not. And always stop. Utilities won't demand immediate payment. Daily City 警察局中尉 Matt Fox 提醒大家，亦都有情况系骗子可能冇太多你嘅信息，而系喺度假装同你电话倾偈或者系填表嘅时候，套取你嘅个人资料，用于开信用卡或者系其他犯罪活动。And what they try to do is get the people to verify their address. You know, they'll ask the question not as a leading question, say, "Hey, can you please verify your address for me?" Say, "We're going to send workers out to your house within the next three to five days. Do you have an alarm system so we don't set off your alarm?" So they're getting this little pertinent information as they talk to them. They start to make generalizations about the person they're talking to. Do they sound elderly? Do they sound kind of confused? And these are things that they're working on. 对于防骗嘅宣传同埋指导资源 ，PGE 发言人陈海山表示，喺佢哋嘅网站 pge.com/scams 上面有提供十五种唔同语言选择嘅资料，欢迎大家查阅同埋转发到自己嘅社交平台上面，俾更多人可以受惠。另外 ，PGE 提供嘅服务专线八零零七四三五零零零。接线中心提供超过二百种语言协助。天下卫视记者苏哲雅编辑报道。